Hey guys, Dr. Heimlich here, and I just had a patient come in with some low thyroid symptoms. He had some Hashimoto's, and he just had a crazy story that I wanted to share with you. So, in case you come across something like this, you'll know what to do. Now, he'd been diagnosed with Hashimoto's years ago and was on some thyroid medication, and it recently had a heart attack. And when he's in with his cardiac uh, rehabilitation, things just weren't happening the way they should. It, it, this rehab just wasn't according to him, going as well as it should be going because he'd had two other heart attacks in the past. And when he kept talking to his therapist and his doctor, they're like, no, it's okay, you just had a heart attack. Don't worry about it. Um, that's why your recovery is slow. Well, he kept pushing and pushing until finally they did some more tests on him and realized, holy smokes, he's back into the hyper phase. Because with Hashimoto's, you can go hypo, hyper, wax and wane back and forth. Uh, medication was changed up, started feeling a little bit better. Uh, but not, not really where he... Um, where he wanted to feel. Um, so he came in and said, hey, you know, can you help me out with this? So we took a look, we started looking over his lab results. So I took a look at his lab results, and I'm like, holy smokes, I mean, your cholesterol is 98, which is low. And I asked him, did your doctor say, and he had some other things that were high and low as well. I said, you know, what did your doctor say about this? He's like, well, my doctor said not to worry about it. You know, it's, it's no big deal. Um, because it wasn't too far out of the normal ranges. Um, and I know it's not this patient's fault. Uh, I consider it to be the doctor's fault because you shouldn't have to know what lab ranges are. You should be able to go into your doctor and just ask them for advice and they should be able to intelligently convey that over to you and help you to understand. But I've talked about this on other blog posts that lab values are start off with, they're very forgiving anyway. But whenever you start getting highs and lows, that's an indication that something's wrong, that you need to you need to do something about it. And this and this gentleman happened to be, I mean, he's a pretty intelligent guy. He was we read on the internet, and he knows that uh, you have to have a certain amount of cholesterol in order to uh, have your hormones function the right way. And uh, he asked his doctor about that. He's like, hey, you know, this concerns me on a follow-up visit. And his doctor said this to him: babies start off with low cholesterol like this. And if it's good enough for a baby, it's good enough for you. <laughs> I was like, what? Are you serious? I absolutely couldn't believe my ears. If it's good enough for a baby, it's good enough for you. Well, I asked him if your heart rate was 114 like a baby's heart rate is, what would your cardiologist say? Would you say it's okay because it's good enough for a baby? If you pooped your pants and had to wear a diaper, is that okay? Because a baby does it. And if it's okay for a baby, good enough for a baby, it's good enough for you. No, that's, that's asinine. To, to say something like that to a patient is crazy. So I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but um, that's, that's totally inappropriate uh, to do that. You know, and you know what? Um, it, it's, it's crazy because this poor guy is just like one travesty after the other. Before he even had the heart attack, he went up to one of the famous clinics here in town, starts with uh, M, and said, hey, I'm having a heart attack. He said, no, you, you just have some uh, costochondritis, inflammation of your uh, uh, cartilage in your chest. Three times, three times he went up there and told the same thing until finally had the heart attack. And he told the ambulance driver, hey, don't take me up there. And uh, the ambulance driver said, hey, we're at 56. That's where you're going. It's the closest place. So, so he had to do that. And the reason we're going over this is because if you have low thyroid symptoms, if you have Hashimoto's, then, then you're going to have an increased... Um, likelihood of having cardiovascular problems because cardiovascular problems themselves are not just caused by low cholesterol just like with this gentleman when he had his third heart attack his cholesterol was already really low and this isn't you know this isn't meant to be a informative thing about cholesterol it, it's to let you know that if you've got low thyroid symptoms or Hashimoto's autoimmune stuff you've got to find a doctor that understands what we've talked about who knows how to test you out with functional neurology, functional endocrinology, to take a look at your lab tests, to interpret those lab tests, to help you understand what the highs and lows mean. I mean, that's what's going to be the most beneficial for you. I'm Dr. Heimlich. Thank you very much.